Hi and welcome to day 29 of my 112 day long winter grind set program. Today I had an absolutely phenomenal day at work, crushing it and working 13 hours in a row and I came home at 1am. Uh, after that I had a little bit more work to do and later I started trading at around 2am. It's now 5 minutes past 3 uh, in the morning and I have to wake up at around 11, I think I'm allowed to have some leeway there since I had such an amazing day today. Um, the only issue uh, is when you work for 13 hours, you're kind of tired, uh, especially when you come home literally in the middle of the night. And um, to compensate for this lack of recovery, I've eaten 4,000 calories today um, because a caloric surplus counteracts a lot of the uh, you know, negative effects of bad sleep when it comes to muscle building. However, cognitively, it won't help anything and you know energy wise I'm still gonna be trashed so I just want to pump out this video as quickly as possible um, no I didn't take a rest day no I'm not giving up uh, I just have a lot to do at work but I'm also not weak and I'm not a bitch so I will complete the training even though I have 13 14 hour days at work sometimes I do have 14 and a half even 15 hour days that's very rare though um, so I'm really pushing it in all aspects of life, trying to make as much money as possible, um, trying to train as hard as possible. Uh, weakness sh shall not be tolerated or accepted, rather hunted down and killed. Uh, I'm continuing to do this. Today, however, I fucked up on the push-ups. I did 28 as opposed to 29, and therefore I did some extra punishment push-ups afterwards. So since it's week five and I want to add a rep per week, I should be at 29 reps now. It was 25, 26, 27, 28, 29 on week five. Um, and it's gonna go all the way up to 40 reps on week 16, which is the end of month four on this program. So the goal, as I said, is 40 reps, chest to floor, knuckle push-ups, um, and I'm at 28 right now. Tomorrow I'm going to do 29 without, you know, forgetting the last rep. That's completely stupid of me. So here, to punch my knuckles and my chest a little bit extra, I did five clapping knuckle push-ups. Now, I wasn't super ambitious. I didn't jump too high with these. But they were still extra painful. So, um, yeah, I believe that if we punch our mistakes, we're less likely to replicate them. And if I fail to recognize that rep tomorrow, I'll do 10 clapping knuckle push-ups instead to really beat the shit out of my knuckles. Yes, one thing that went really well today was these pistol squats. I did nine reps per leg without dying, so that was an achievement. Uh, I also had quite good deadlift strength after this, which means that my glutes and my quads are slowly getting stronger. Uh, I'd say that they're probably the strongest they've ever been fairly shortly. But as you can see here, these reps are they're quite proper, not really failing, and um, I'm especially impressed with my glute strength, actually, since the hip extension on these, um, it, well, these require a lot of hip, hip extension, basically, and hitting 14 reps on the 100 kilo double overhand deadlift after doing these really is a feat in itself, since deadlifting with pre-exhausted glutes isn't the most fun. So as you can see there, that was my only time I kind of lost balance in the bottom of the rep there. And it's not a balance issue, it's a strength issue. Uh, it's probably a weak core, kind of tired legs from jumping all this rope that I'm doing. Uh, these sets are starting to get quite long, which is a good thing, but there is, it is a bit boring to watch. On to the next. As you can see here, I loaded up 100 kilograms and I did 14 reps a day as opposed to 13. Excuse my stomach there, uh, as I said, I've been eating 4,000 calories of fast foods today, so I'm obviously quite bloated. Um, but I went for 14 reps a day, uh, and it went well. I don't have much more to say about today's workout, other than the fact that I also did nine minutes of jump rope. Um, that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys tomorrow, and I need to sleep now. Goodbye.